In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to draft a one shoulder bodice. So this tutorial is very easy to follow and at the end of it you would have produced a nice fitting bodice. So you will need several tools as well as a front and back piece of your bodice block. So your bodice block should have as little bust ease as possible but preferably none. You will also need your bust radius and this can be measured from your bust point aka your nipples down to the bottom of your bust. The first thing you will need to do is fold a large piece of paper and place the centre front of your bodice on the fold. You will then trace around it. Prior to this, you may want to do some dart manipulation for your desired style, but I'm eventually going to close up the side dart. To do this, I redraw the dart legs from the boss point. Once traced, you will then cut out your bodice and open it up. Be careful not to cut off your dart pieces. Well, I accidentally did that, so if this happens to you, just get some tape and stick it back on or you can just go ahead and close up the side dart. At this point, you should get something that looks like this. Next, you will need to open up your compass to the length of your bust radius. You may want to turn your bodice over so you can work on an unmarked surface. Place the compass on both bust points and draw a circle. These circles will help you gauge how much coverage will be needed around your chest. So you should have two circles that go around like this. So it doesn't actually matter if they overlap or if they don't, it just depends on the radius of your bust. If you are larger chested, you may want to extend one side of your bodice to offer more coverage. Use the circles drawn as a guide to gauge how much to extend the side by. To do this, attach a piece of paper to the side seam and draw the extension. On the opposite side, measure a mark 2 inches from the end of the shoulder and draw a line straight down from the mark to the side seam. As you can see, my line goes straight through the neck hole, so I've just drawn a slightly curved line to avoid this. Next, cut out your bodice and close up the side darts if you haven't already. Your final front piece should look something like this. Similarly for the back, you want to trace around your pattern piece and cut it from the folded sheet of paper. If you extended your side seam on the front pattern piece, you will need to do the same for the back but on the opposite side. Again, measure 2 inches from the end of the shoulder and draw a straight line down to the side. Next, we'll just cover up the gap caused by the shoulder dart by adding a piece of paper underneath it. The final back piece should look similar to this. The last part is adding seam allowances to the final pieces of your bodice, so just place your front and back pattern on another sheet of paper and trace around them. So I've added a half an inch seam allowance around the pattern except for at the bottom where I added one inch. So I usually do this in case something goes wrong or the bodice ends up being too short, because in the end you can always make something shorter but unfortunately not longer. your seam allowances your two final pattern pieces should look like this so I decided to make a dress and this is the front of it and this is the back so I added an invisible zip along the side seam and I also lined it on the inside with black fabric thank you for watching I hope you're able to follow the tutorial easily enough please don't forget to send in anything you make and while you're here, please, please, please click subscribe so you can get more tutorials as they come.